if set a raunch at Leva Villegas's games in Metro Manila fall on weekends, nothing, not even hell or high water, could stop her mom from traveling for at least four hours from Maribel's, Bataan, just to watch him play live. On June 9, when driving rain submerged many roads all over Luzon in water to herald the onset of the wet season, Ronchat made frantic calls to his mom to ask her to call off her plans to watch him play for PLDT Home Fibra against Instituto Estetico Manila at the start of the PVL quarterfinals at the Filoil Flying V Center in San Juan. But by then James, the youngest of my children, and I were already leaving Bataan in a bus, said Mrs. Really of a legus, a registered psychiatric nurse. Besides, the roads we were taking were still passable, so we continued the trip to Manila. Dot mother and son left Bataan at 5.30 a.m. and reached the San Juan Arena five hours later in time for the start of the second set of the PLDT team skirmish. Ronchat didn't disappoint Dot playing for one hour and 53 minutes without relief, he accounted for 61 of the 62 excellent sets credited to the ultra-fast hitters and chipped in two points as the 5-foot-10 setter helped power PLDT home fibra past the Phoenix Volley Masters in four sets, 25-20, 27-25, 23-25, 25-20. He was not surprised when he spotted his mother and brother among the crowd. They were in the bus out of Bataan already, when I phoned to ask her to scrap their plans of watching my game in San Juan, he said. At the time the roof of the arena was being pelted by great sheets of rain. H.E.R. Mom's presence during his games, said Ronchette, inspires him to do better. She's my inspiration, my source of extra energy. She commutes from Marivelles to where I may be playing in Manila. The trip is tiring, so I make sure I give my best in every game, as she has always advised us her five children to exert our best effort in everything we do. Dot orphaned by his dad, who himself was a varsity basketball athlete in high school and college. When he was in grade V, Ronchat knew full well the extent of sacrifices his mother had to make to raise him and his four siblings and send each and every one to school. That, he said, made him more attached to her. I finished my studies, sports recreation management, and did my best as a setter for Fu in the UP to make her proud of me. I always strive to excel in whatever I do to let her know that the effort, time and money she had invested in me as a single parent were not wasted. Dot in Ronchette's fifth and final playing year in last season's OOP, Mrs. Villegas, who usually attends his son's games on weekends only, filed for a long leave of absence to be able to watch her son live even on weekdays. She disclosed she had to leave Marivelle's as early as 2 p.m., so she would arrive on time for her son's 8 o'clock a. M. Games. Indeed, the mother's dedication proved to the ultimate inspiration for the son, 